morning. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Kim. Good morning. Good morning. Give me one second. Good morning. Hmm, interesting. Good morning. Hey there. Good morning, Kiara. Good morning. I am um, going live on Facebook. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Erica. Hey, Clouds. 592. Somebody just popped in. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's do this again. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Give me one second. There we go. Good morning. Hey, Love Life E. All right, we are live now. All right, let's move this over. Move this over. How is everybody? Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Loving the title of this scope. Thank you. Yes, this morning we are talking about doing something different for our motivational Monday. Good morning. Hey, Shermani. Still in bed. I wish I was still in bed. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope. Good morning. Let me make sure we're good on Periscope. There we are. Let's see here. Let's see. That popped up. Awesome. Good morning. Hey, Kita. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Pull this down here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Where are we? We are here. Let's see. Hey, Janice. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody? Everybody's good. <clears throat> Happy Monday. We made it. Um, this is the last week of April. Can you believe it? Hey, Nakia. How are you, love? Last week of April, we made it through. Um, first month of the second quarter. But how crazy is that, that this year, good morning in Somali, um, that we... You know, literally this year is flying by. We're getting ready to transition into month five of this year. Book five, chapter five of your book, um, Girl Access Denied the Bomb. Thank you. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of good morning, Tiffany. A lot of love on that uh, on that life scope. So, yeah, it's been um, access denied, right? It's just time. Let me move this over trying to move this microphone give me a second you all all right so i'm trying to move it in one area and then in the other area is there i gotta move this back give me a second there we go all right so yes good morning Sharon. good morning tiffany hey everybody good morning on facebook and uh instagram and periscope so like i was saying we are in um book our book called 2017 we're all getting ready literally like almost seven days from hey kiara how are you love completing this month this chapter hey az hey everybody joining in and it's crazy because it's going by really 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 fast and um and you know my thing is is you know not to say you got to kind of catch up but 
sometimes you gotta you know backtrack and slow down just to kind of get on track and I think it's important if you are going to accomplish your goals if you're gonna accomplish anything that you want to accomplish whether it's personally professionally you know spiritually whatever the case may be financially whatever the case may be you are going to want um, to get to a place where what you are doing is what you are supposed to be doing right and you can't be procrastinating you can't be you know um, you know thinking you have time when you don't have time but you know there's kind of like this conundrum where um, when you show up you're kind of like supposed to be there right so remember we talked about last week the idea that I just believe that um, that God has this that our life plan is kind of like a if then because if he knows the end from the beginning it's kind of like well they could either choose this or this and if they choose this then it goes this way and if they choose this then it goes this way but if they choose this it goes this way and so good morning everybody joining the morning life scope let me just do my official greeting um welcome to the morning life scope with true heart speaks i am Dietra true heart your life purpose generator purpose provoker and i speak life mentor speaker coach and author helping you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living so you can do life well um good morning sean good morning michelle good morning jill good morning antoinette good morning everybody who's watching me live those of you who are watching the replay you can double tap the screen and you can give hearts hey amy yes it has been a minute but good morning welcome back hey everybody hey stephanie how are you love good morning good morning good morning good morning everybody good morning um strd bertram uh good morning let's double tap the screen let's give some hearts of worship um i just a quick reminder that this thursday at 7 p.m is our life scope master class and so if you have yet to register registration is 37 dollars. you can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries hello from chicago how are you um good morning um i have two stephanie's good morning stephanie and uh it's my soul all right so that's there and then um let me share this on Periscope. And the link is in my Periscope uh, bio. So if you want to register, you have until um, Thursday, really, to register for the webinar um, on Thursday. But our Life Scope Masterclass is our monthly teaching that I do that culminates our monthly topic. And so, hello. And so if you um, are struggling with boundaries, if you're struggling with, you know, you, you create boundaries, but you don't you don't keep boundaries, um, you want to position yourself to be in a space that as you go to the next level, because guess what? Boundaries are going to be needed um, in your business, on your job, in your life, even in your marriage with your children. Um, boundaries are a necessity. And so if you are the kind of person who is always getting the short end of the stick, always feeling like, huh, like... A, if I could just say no and keep it, or if I, why do I always have to say yes? Or if I feel, if I'm, why are people always making me feel bad about X, Y, and Z? Then you need to be on the training on Thursday. Um, and in addition to that, we've been reading from this book. And so we haven't finished the book um, and we won't finish the book. But I, my suggestion has always been, hey, Motivated to Transform, for you to get the book so that you can, uh, you can read this book and you can have, you know, resources uh, to be able to help you deal with boundaries. So while I'm doing this, let me share before we get into the teaching. Um, but so those of you who are on, on Periscope, you can swipe right on the iPhone, swipe up on the Android to, um, I don't know what just happened to my music, but that's okay. Maybe I did that. Um, you can swipe, uh, swipe right on the iPhone, swipe up on the Android. Um, hey, Tammy, how are you, love? And uh, you can share this, share with your uh, followers. If you're on Facebook, please be sure to share this. Let folks know we are live and in full effect. And we are getting ready to um, start teaching. Also, this is the last week. You have until Sunday to get your green I Speak Life tea. Um, the, I just um, got my first shipment in um, of those who have ordered shirts. And so if you... Um, let me just pull this in. Uh oh, I just knocked something over. So if you are interested in purchasing a shirt, this is what they look like. You've seen me wear them. This is the shirt. So if you're interested, you can go to my website, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boutique, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boutique and get your limited edition green tea. Get your limited edition green tea, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boutique. Um, and once 
uh, May 1st hits, you will no longer be able to get one. So you'll want to get it while you can get it, right? So let me just put this here. Uh, join us. Okay, let me just do my sharing. I don't know what happened to my um, my music, but that's okay. It says, I'm excited. I pre-ordered the book. Yes, I saw. I saw. I saw. I'm super excited that that came in. So those of you who um, who know, I have my book, 30 Days of Thanks, um, 30 Daily Devotions for Cultivating an Attitude of Gratitude is still in pre-order mode. Um, and I believe you'll probably have until this week to order if you want to order because um, final proofing is just about done and we're going to be ordering books within the next week or so. So I'm super excited about that as well. Good morning, Kim Shea. How are you, love? So yeah, so I'm not sure what just happened to my music, but that's okay. We're going to close out of that and um, get to teaching. So I'm going to keep sharing. Um, good morning, High Life. Good morning, everybody. Let me share, share, share. And uh, give me some of those hearts. Let's double tap the screen. Let's get the heart, heart love going. Uh, let's see here. All right, join us. Okay. All right. So um, today we're talking about doing something different doing something different this is our monday motivation you know every monday hey bert how are you every monday we do a, mon a monday motivation hey dana i see you giving me love hey soror um uh so every monday we do a monday motivation and so um good morning Marilyn. hey love how are you and um today as i well oh, yeah over the weekend i was thinking about what that message would be. And, um, you know, this is the message that I, give me a second, you all, I'm just sharing, sharing, sharing. All right, here we go. Um, so today's message is called do something different. And I'm going to, um, been trying to do my best to get you guys out of here by 7:45, um, simply because I want to just kind of respect your time, my time and make sure I can get my son ready for school and all that other good stuff. I see you. So, um, so those of you, if you see me looking around, I'm on three different screens. So Instagram is here, Periscope is here and Facebook is here. So, um, I'm, you know, um, looking, I want to make sure that I give you all some eye contact, right? I'm smizing at you. Okay. <laughs> I cracked myself up. So we're talking about doing something different, right? And so many times we find ourselves, you know, frustrated, um, you know, with our lives, with some aspects, you know, of our lives and we aren't really doing anything, you know, to change it. You know, we kind of complain about it. We kind of, you know, just have conversation about it. But at the end of the day, we're really not doing much about it. You know, we're a lot of talk, but we're not a lot of walk. And, um, and the walk never matches the talk, right? So, you know, we keep using phrases like, you know, one day or one of these days, or I just need to dot, 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 but that day never comes. And so, you know, for me, um, and, and the reason that, you know, a lot of times the Monday motivation comes from, thank you so much. Hi, Pastor Cynthia. How are you, love? Good morning. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, this is one of my boundary shirts. Um, sorry, I did, I'm late. I didn't want to come. Um, I, you all know I love, this was a shirt I was telling you about last week, guys. So at any rate, um, so we get to a space where, you know, for me in my life, a lot of times when I'm sharing the Monday motivation, it really is triggered by either something I have experienced, something I've seen or what I'm going through or whatever. And, um, I'm in a place where a couple of weeks, you know, we talked about purging, we talked about kind of getting rid of some things. And so I'm in that space where I have been talking about this thing for long enough that I am now finally, um, get into a space where I'm doing something about it. Um, and not only I'm doing something about it, I'm doing something different, right? And so for some of us, the doing something different is actually doing something and not just talking about it. Um, but, you know, if you don't like where you are, it's time for you to do something about it, right? If you don't like some aspect of your life, like you all know, I just kind of got tired of, you know... Um, looking in the mirror and seeing what I was seeing and I decided to go to a personal trainer um and really the thing was is what I was doing was not working and so and I knew that I wasn't gonna go to a gym I knew that I wasn't 
I just, I don't like gyms. Like, I just, I don't, you know, I just don't want to go. Like, and it's nothing against the gym. I go in, I'm riding a bike, and I'm looking at everybody else. I'm totally not doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing, y'all. And so I just went on ahead and I invested in a personal trainer. And so for me, I did something different. And can I tell you, it is totally paying off. I'm totally going to be snatched this summer, y'all. Y'all are not ready for the snatchedness that's getting ready to happen over here. <laughs> I love it. So at any rate, I'm all excited. But um, but my thing is really, you know, you you got to get to a space where you just really get to good morning, Makaya. How are you, lovey? Where you really got to start just saying, OK, you know, is what I'm doing working? Like, that's the question that you really have to uh, <laughs> snatch it. They don't know, girl, to snatch it. But, you know, do you like, you know, what are, is what you're doing working like it's. It's, it's kind of like, and I always use this, the Dr. Phil question where he says, how's that working for you? Like, how's that working for you? Like, a lot of times it's not working for you. It's not working at all. And, but you still keep doing it. It's not, I mean, literally it's not working. You don't see any results. You don't see any changes. You don't see, you don't see anything and you keep doing it or you're not doing it. And sometimes for you, the one thing that you're doing that isn't working is doing nothing. Good morning, Audrey. How are you, love? The one thing that you're doing that isn't working is nothing. Like, you're not doing anything, but you're complaining. You got lots to say, but you don't have anything to do. And so this morning, I just want to share real quick, right? I'm just going to drop it and let it go. Is, you know, you let's do something different. Let's do something different, right? Um, you know, it, again, if, it, and, and I'm gonna say it again, if what, if you look at your life and there's some things that you know you need to fix, right? And you know that you haven't really been doing what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe there isn't enough follow through. Maybe you don't have boundaries. And so the reason why you can't do what you need to do is simply because you have no boundaries. You don't know how to implement boundaries. You don't know how to say no. And so you have more time for them than you have for you. And so you complain because you don't have time for you, but you just say yes to everybody else. We got to get to a place where not only are we doing something different, but sometimes you got to go back to the basics. Good morning, Kiana. How are you, love? I'm with you about the gym. Yeah, I just can't do the gym, right? And so good morning, everybody joining in on the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks. I'm Dietra True Heart. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. Um, but sometimes you got to go back to the basics. And so sometimes you got to go back to, okay, well, when it was working, what was I doing? When it was working, what was happening? What was I doing in order for it to work, right? Um, but the other part is, is if if what I'm doing now is not working, how can I not no longer? How can I no longer do it? Thank you, love. I appreciate you. How can I no longer do it, right? How can I stop doing what is not working so that I'm not miserable? I'm not stressed. I'm not whatever, right? And so, you know, the other thing is, is again, doing something different, right? So, um, hey, Deanne, how are you, love? And so, you know, get into a space where we we recognize, right? We got to call, start calling some stuff out, right? We have, we have, we're really good at calling other people. So like, girl, I don't know, like you might want to stop doing that. That don't seem like it's working, right? Like you just, I don't know how long you going to keep doing that. Like, girl, I don't know. Did you see? It just, I don't she keep doing the same thing over and over again, girl, and it ain't working. But when we want to look in the mirror, we don't want to have that conversation with ourselves. Hello. Good morning, Lorraine. How are you? Hello. You got to have the same kind of conversation. You Maybe you need to be talking about your girlfriend about you. Like, ooh, girl, like, she need to really be doing something. Like, you know, she just, she ain't doing nothing, but she need to be doing something. Good morning, Dr. BJ. Because at the end of the day, what you're doing is not working. It's not working like it's not working and you know that it is not working and you know that you know that you're stressed and you know that you're anxious and you know that you're miserable and you know that where you are is not where you want to be but you are not doing anything different you're not doing anything different and so you know you got to stop forcing things that's not supposed to be and just let it be Thank you for sharing, uh, Pastor Cynthia. I appreciate you. Thank you, everybody who's been sharing. Hey, Kia, how are you? Good morning. And so, you know, it's, you know, and, and, and the stuff that I'm saying is really not like rocket science. You know, it's just we have to get to a space where we just kind of take some time to pull back and pull away and evaluate the various areas of our lives and really say, is this working for me? And if it's not working, what am I willing to do to change it? What am I do? What, what, what am I willing to do in order to make it better? Right. Um, 
and so let me just make sure I just covered what I needed to cover in my notes. Um, let me see here. So yeah, so I said, if you want to do something different, you got to do something different, maybe trying something new, right? Some of you don't want to try anything new, like, girl, I don't have time for new, right? No new friends. Like, well, some, maybe you, maybe you need some new friends. Maybe the fools you hanging with ain't really good for you. Maybe that's why that's something you need to do different is you need to get, and you need to surround yourself with some different people, right? Um, we talk about people, places, and things, right? So maybe there's some different people you need to be hanging around or doing, right? Or not doing, if if y'all know what I mean. Um, you know, or maybe, you know, there's some places you need to stop going. Or maybe there's some things you need to stop doing, right? Whatever the case is, like, so, you know, try something new. Go to a new place. Go to, you know, for some of you, it's just as simple as like, oh, well, I don't really have never had nothing to do. And I don't have nobody to go with. Maybe you need to go by yourself. Maybe you need to learn how to take yourself out to lunch. Maybe you need to take yourself to the movies. Maybe you just need to walk around the mall um, like I do for hours just to get away. Like, and just, you know, window shop. I ain't shopping. I just need to be by myself. Maybe you need to take yourself out to dinner. Maybe you need to do something different and stop expecting that you got to have, um, it says you can't get different results doing the same things, right? That's insanity. We know that, right? It's insanity. Stop doing insane stuff. Stop doing dumb stuff. Like, at the end of the day, you know, it, just, you know, I don't ever have nobody. Well, maybe you don't need anybody. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you need to, it's so refreshing. Like, ugh. Especially even when the dog is following you. It's like, oh, no, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Took a trip to the falls yesterday, and it was a great, it was great. Explore your neighborhood. Absolutely. Take a walk. You know what I mean? Like, it just, you know, like, for some stuff, um... You know, and then here's the other part, and I said this in the beginning, um, go back to what worked. Like, for me, um, I'm going to be very transparent. Lately, I've been really busy, and um, my Bible study time, my quiet time, that used to be my favorite thing to do, right? Yeah, I love, let me just tell you, I love walking through Walmart, Mart, Target, the mall. I'm in there for hours, and I come out with nothing. I'm serious, like, literally. I just love walking. I'm like, oh, this is cute. What can I do with this? Oh, my God, I like this. And I come out with nothing. So at any rate, let me come back. So I am, um, it, life has just been really, really, really busy. And so, oh goodness. Okay. I got a couple minutes. I'm going to pray in a minute. So I, um, have been really, really, really busy and my prayer time and my Bible study time has been off and I'm like, huh, like what's going on? You know, whatever. And literally, and this is, I'm just going to tell you, this is really what prompted today's teaching. Um, and my, my thing was not a really about, um, doing something new, but doing something different. But the point was for me was the different was going back to the basics, the basics of what I used to do. Um, and really taking that time out to have that reading time and to have that study time and to have that quiet time, um, and to in, 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 um, intentionally create that space because what I'm doing right now is not working, that, that I'm starting to feel the void, that I'm starting to feel the disconnect, that I'm starting to feel like, ooh, Ooh, like, okay, I just, I need to be in a space where I just need that, I need that intimacy. And I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, I'm feeling pulled in a lot of different areas. And so because I'm feeling pulled in a lot of different areas, I'm at the point now where I'm like, okay, I got to go back to what used to work. I got to go back to what I was doing. But more importantly, I have to do something different because what I'm doing now is not working. Are you all with me? Uh oh, pull the straw out. So, um, so, 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 let me close, and I'm gonna pray. Um, and you'll see these posts today on Instagram, Facebook, or wherever. But um, give me some hearts if this has been good. I want some hearts or something. Has this been good for you all? Are you getting anything from this? You have to give others their space to do the same and not take it personal. Oh, absolutely, Vicky. Absolutely. And good morning to you. Absolutely. Right. You absolutely have to do that because you can't expect for people to give you space, but you don't want to give them space. You don't have you don't have any type of like idea of what personal space is. Right. It's like, no, let give me my space um, so that I can, you know, basically operate and do what I need to do and have my space and whatever else. And then I can respect the fact that you the same thing. Right. 
Um, and the one thing that I find though, Vicky, is, is that sometimes we don't have, we don't have issues with respecting other people's space, but we don't want to enforce people to respect our space, which is really crazy to me. And that's, you know, part of that conversation of boundaries that we've been having is that, oh, you know, I give them their space and I do X, Y, and Z and, you know, whatever the case may be, but they don't, you know, every time I'm, you know, I'm shady or I'm whatever, again, like I said, you might have to do something different with them friends. I had to do something different with them people. And so, um, you know, one of the things, and you'll see these, one, I, I created these a couple years ago, um, and I never know what, uh, I always get inspired by certain things, but I'm going to leave you with this. Um, you can't fix what you won't face. And don't fuss about it if you're not going to fix it. I'm going to leave y'all with that and we're going to pray. Um, you can't fix what you won't face and don't fuss about it if you're not going to do anything about it, Right? If you're not going to do anything about it, stop fussing about it. I had a conversation with my dad the other day. Not the other day, but this was a couple of years ago. And, you know, anybody who knows my dad, he just fussed for no reason. Like, he just liked to fuss. Like, what is that? I'm like, well, and I told him, I said, listen. I said, if you're not going to do anything about it, if you're not going to enforce it, you need to stop fussing about it. Because it don't, you just, you just talk and hear yourself talk. And, um, so those people fucking work my nerves. Yeah. It says, I was always trying to make others happy. I got lost in that. It stopped working for me because I was being taken advantage of. Oh, absolutely. People, and here's the thing. People, um, don't fuss about it. Hey, Lala, how you doing, love? Don't fuss about it, right? We complain about it, but if you don't complain, if you're not going to do nothing about it, don't fuss if you're not going to fix, right? Good morning, love. Um, but yeah, don't fuss about it if you're not going, yes, I just had, you know, dad fuss, Janique, like it just, I'll just, yeah, I'm telling him, and I was, and I'm like, okay, but yeah, I get it. He fusses about everything, right? Some stuff rightfully so, but some stuff is just like, okay, I get it, but you're not really going to do anything about it. And, and if you're not going to do anything about it, stop fussing. And he was like, well, you know, you, you got a point, you got a point. But if you're not, if you're not going to, you, you can't fix what you won't face, but more importantly, don't fuss about it if you're not going to fix it. Just be quiet. Stop talking about it. But my thing, my thing today is I want you to, it is absolutely wasted energy. I want you to do something different. I want you to check where you are. Check, you know, um, there's a saying that says check who's on your row. Check who's on your row. And um, check what you're doing or not doing, right? Maybe there's something you're not doing that you need to be doing, right? Or maybe there's something that you're doing that you need to stop doing. But I want you to check it. And I want you to start doing something different, point blank, period. I want you to start doing something different. Your life is not going to change with you just sitting around waiting for it to change on its own. You have to be the initiator in your own freaking life. Like it is not, your life is just not going to wake up and say, you know what? I decided I'm, a, I'm just going to change today. I need a change in my life. And I'm not talking about, you know, life changes like death and pregnancy and illness and that kind of stuff. But I'm just talking about the stuff that you just wait for change. You just like, well, if I sit here long enough, it'll change. No, if you sit there long enough, you're going to be old. That's what's going to happen. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this time, this space. Lord, we thank you, God, for this message of doing something different. Lord, we thank you for this new week, this new day. We thank you for brand new mercies today. We thank you for grace and mercy. We thank you for just another opportunity, God, just to hear wisdom from you on how to do life well, how to get out of our own way and really get to the business of living, how to just be in a space where we don't just look good, um, but we feel good and we live good, right? And so I'm just thankful um, for the unction and for the discernment and the wisdom to recognize when stuff is not working in my own personal life. And so, Lord, I'm asking that you would um, ignite that wisdom and that spirit of discernment, oh God, into those who are watching live and those who are watching on the replay, that when something is not working, not to get frustrated, um, not to shut down, but to you know be open enough with ourselves to be able to say, okay, well, if this is not working, what do I need to do differently? Uh, what do I need to change? What do I need to cut back on? What do I need to add to it, right? And so, Father, I'm just asking that you would, not only today, but this week and this month and this year, give us what we need um, to make wise choices, to hang with wise people, to do wise things, um, and, and just to be in a space where we can just be, you know... Hey, sis, getting in the business of living. I love it. Yes. Um, 
where we can just be, right? Um, where we don't necessarily have to put on, where we don't necessarily have to feel like we have to be this kind of person for this, you know, for, for them or whatever, but we just want to be. We want to be who you have called us to be. And we want to be authentic. We want to be transparent. And if people don't like it, they know where they can go. I mean, that's just really how it is, Lord. Like, we're, it's just, we're in the last days and we don't have time, God, to be playing around. We don't have time to be trying to impress people. Um, there's a saying, God, that says that, you know, we buy things we don't, for with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. And so, Father, we don't have time to do that kind of stuff anymore. That there are more important battles that we need to be dealing with um, rather than trying to impress folks we don't even like or we don't even know. Um, and so on one of those is dealing with our own selves, our own issues, look at ourselves in the mirror and saying, what do I need to do different today? What, even on a weekly basis, thank you, Lord, for us to be able to check what, what happened this week, what happened last week, what went well, what didn't go well, Lord, and what, what do I have to do? What do I want to do again that really went well? And what do I need to change in order for this week to go a little bit better? Right. And so, um, we're just excited about what you are doing in our lives, um, the change that is happening, the transitioning, the shifting that is happening. And so on this day, Lord, we just thank you that we will do something different. We will do something different today. We will do something different today. We will do something different, Lord, today. Give us the wisdom and the courage to take the first step to do something different. And we will honor you. We will love you. Um, we will magnify you, God. We will continue to give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yes. Yeah, so, um, so yeah. So, we just got to start doing something different. And we got to start nipping that thing in the bud immediately. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let that stuff fester, you know, like a rotten banana. Live today. Don't just exist. Absolutely. <clears throat> and, um... I will do something different. Thank you. Amen. Amen, AZ. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so it's, yeah, we just, we just gotta, we gotta get to that point. So, um, where we recognize what's not working. And I think the quicker we nip it in the bud, the better off we'll be. Right? The quicker we nip it in the bud, the better off we'll be. Um, and... You know, I'm just, I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about, um, today's teaching reminds me of what my late father-in-law used to say. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lutely. That's right. You will always get it. And so if you want something different, you got to do something different, right? So, um, so I'm going to let you all go. And prayerfully, this has been something good. Um, please share, 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 share it with your peeps. Um, somebody needs to know that they have permission today to do something different, right? You have permission to do something different. You have permission to do something different. And so if you're just joining the Life Scope, the Morning Life Scope, good morning. I'm Deetra Trueheart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. And um, it's info at trueheartspeaks.com, info at trueheartspeaks.com. Um, and so I am a, uh, speaker coach and author helping you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living. And so, you know, it's just, let it listen. It's, it, it is what it is. Um, oh, but those of you who are on the replay, please go back, check out the replay, share, um, share, share, share. Cause I want people to get this message, right? Sharing is caring, right? We'll get the message like, Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is good. But somebody else need to be like, oh, this is good. This is good, right? So we want to share it. So I love you all. Y'all have an awesome day. Don't forget to register for this week's masterclass. Um, the webinar is this when, this Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, registration is $37 and you get the replay. So if you're not available on Thursday, but you still want the teaching on boundaries, please register. Please register. Um, so again, um, also again, shirts will be, I'll be doing the, this, these are going to be our church announcements for the rest of the week, right? So you have the, I, um, I speak life shirt right here. It is. This is, um, the shirts that just came in for those who have ordered. Um, if you want the shirt, um, you can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boutique. And if you want to register for the webinar, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries, um, so yeah, so you can go here, Vicky, to order your uh order your shirt. Let me put this in here. Uh 
there you go. So that's my limited edition shirt. So if you guys want that shirt, it's available only for the month of April, right? Only for the month of April. It will come off the website um, on May 1st. So I know a lot of you have been asking for it. So please make sure um, you go get it. So you can, um, what does my shirt say? It says, I speak life. That I am the creator of the I speak life movement. It says, I speak life. Oh, wait, I speak life. Um, so yeah, so you all have an awesome day. Um, register for the webinar and go get your shirt. I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. Bye.